Welcome to Reflect. I'm Tarja. And I'm Toria. Today on the channel, we are going to talk about what it's like being twins and some of our experiences. Also, our likes and dislikes about being twins. So there are different types of twins. So I just want to say the different few that, we, that exist in the world. Yeah. The first one is fraternal, meaning that they twins, but they come from two separate fertilized eggs. And then the mirror, twin, mirror twins have, like, they identical, but their physical features, like, say, a birthmark. Like, if one have it on the right side, the other person will have it on the left side. Yeah. So their features will be on the opposite side. Then there's their conjoined twins. These twins are, like, attached by, like, an organ in the body or something, like, internally that have them attached. They, they, they share the same body, essentially. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, they have different, you know, personalities and stuff, but something on them is attached. And then there's identical twins, which is we we are. Mm -hmm. It's one single egg, and it just split into two. Yes. So that's what we are. Yeah. So we just want to talk about some of our experience. What was like being twins, like growing up mm -hmm. in school with family and friends. And First thing I want to um, address is us dressing alike. I know a lot of twins out there that when they was younger, their parents made them have the same type of outfit on, had the same type of hairstyle, and I just think that's up. Uh, Funny how, yeah, we had to dress alike as mm -hmm. um, younger, but once we got older, we definitely stopped dressing alike. <laughs> yeah, in our case, we had like, so say we had like shorts, like one doesn't have pink, the other person had purple, oh, something yeah. like that. Like we just have, we had the same thing. Like I, like, I don't know, it's just so annoying that we had to do that. Like, yeah. And we had I, no control of what we dress or our hair was. Like, we, already, we had to have our hair the same. Everything. It's like, we already look the same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then um, dressing alike and stuff. Yeah, like how we didn't even have our own identity with that. Like, I just feel like parents out there, you should probably try to dress your kids at least different, younger mm -hmm. and stuff, so they can have their own or identity. Or just ask stuff. them their opinion. Yeah. You know, see what they like. Like, I can see when you were like a baby, mm -hmm. how it's probably was easier having twins and you just like, they, you know, let's just get them the same, same thing, thing. Probably cheaper and stuff like that. But when they grow older, like in middle school, high school, like they're going to be individuals. Yeah. And then another thing is how, I'm pretty sure some of you twins can relate out there is, uh, having our names put together. Mm -hmm. Like, Tori and Taj is one person. Uh, they don't even try to separate. Like, when they call it one twin, they say both names. Yeah, say, <laughs> say one of us wasn't there. They still call it that one person, both names. Yeah, and that's mostly that was in our family where it's just one person. Yeah, like, I can see if you don't notice a part and then you say the wrong name, but mm -hmm. when you say both our names attached to one person, that's kind of odd. Yeah, it's <laughs> like we got, we don't have the same, we're not exactly the same. Yeah. We, you no, know, we're not clones out here. Mm -hmm. like we each had our own identity and stuff. And then I think that a lot of people did that because they didn't know it's each as individuals. Yeah. So they just put us as one name, mm -hmm. which is what's so And annoying. then you have us dressing alike and then having our names together. And it's like, dang, how can we um have our own identity and separate out here? Exactly. And so, then another thing is, was during school, like we I'm in our 20s now, but when we was in high school, middle school, how they were all trying to separate us in different classrooms or separate to um, not having them sit by each other, which was kind of crazy because like you have siblings in the same classroom and you don't try to separate those. Or those people, people who are like best friends and it's obviously best friends. You don't separate them. And it's not like we was like, uh -huh. you know, bad in school or anything. We was actually like good kids in school. So it was no point of them separate, separating us. Cause see, I know a lot of people would say, Oh, we can have you separate so you could, you know, not be attached to your twin or whatever, but we weren't even attached to each other. If it wasn't, or um, they probably do it because maybe we distraction for each other, or we was always talking when we weren't even like quiet, more so quiet people in school, and how we definitely didn't distract each other or anything. So I just think it's um, crazy how teachers would do that. Yeah, it was just so annoying. This one class, it was like a lab, mm -hmm. um, laboratory type of class, and she gonna say, so we was all in the group, and we got to choose our own group, mm -hmm. mind you. And then me, me and my sister was in the same group, and so I just tired of talking. And she's gonna say, because uh, I guess another group needed a person, and she's gonna just choose, like, what? Let's do one of y'all. Not giving the whole group. She's gonna just say, oh, one of y'all just because y'all twins. Yeah. Like, they're just so, I was just so irritated that day mm -hmm. when she did that because, like, oh, but these two people, they hang out every day, and you see them talking always mm -hmm. and troublemakers, but they could stay in the same group, but mm -hmm. we couldn't be in the same group. Yeah. Which is so annoying. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I want to know if you guys experienced that in school and stuff, and they think that we what 
switch class um i don't know if some of you twins like because we did have stories we had never did this but switching like classrooms or switching seats and tricking people out here mm-hmm. i think that's uh funny when twins did that but we barely we didn't um uh, want to switch classrooms because we didn't want to do the other person um mm-hmm. school work yeah, so i didn't want to do her homework she didn't want to do mine nope. and then that's uh remind me of different movies that uh depict twins like um uh, tia and tamara if you guys um remember well know that show 90 show mm-hmm. and how they were separated at birth and then it became um met up with each other and they both were like adopted yeah one had the dad and then the other mm-hmm. one had the mom the tia she had the mom mm-hmm. and then tamara she had the dad and that and then they had like there was opposite personalities mm-hmm. like one i guess you could say is less than smart and then the other one was the, the smart twin and, and one was supposed to be more goofy and the other one was supposed to be not yeah, you know, smart. It's smart like more serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's mind me of thinking that how people think that twins, one of them always had to be the edgy or twin, or one of them always had to be the good girl or the girly mm-hmm. one. And I feel like that's not even the case for every twins out there. So that's another thing that was kind of annoying at the um time and stuff. Like which one of y'all is the mean one? Which one is y'all the nice one? Kind of like um also what Mary Kay and Ashley. Ashley, I feel mm-hmm. like we got compared to them. Even though we are African American, they white, and we always like they always try to say, "Oh, Mary Kay Ashley, mm-hmm. or, y'all Tia and Tamara." Like, no, we're not them. <laughs> like, no, you know, nothing bad about them or anything because we did watch them when yeah. we was younger and stuff. But we'll talk we, more about we that. Our, um, we'll talk about more about that in a few minutes about our dislikes of being twins. We just mm-hmm. yeah, saying our experiences and um in movies is well movies we watch. And another thing was how in movies they probably show maybe even YouTube videos out there how they try to say you can reach the other person mind. Like, we're not telepathic out here. <laughs> no, we, I wish we was, but we not. No. Like, maybe I we know. feel like it's, feel something if some one person experiences something and the next person, that because we just, probably in the same proximity, you can see the person emotion, you know? Right. But we're but, not, it's reading the other person mind. That's true. And then, it's like, like, people will say, oh, you both said this at the same time. So, y'all must be twins. Yeah. But, the thing is, a lot of people do that. If you, grow up with a person like a sibling if you grow up with them you obviously gonna have moments where you both relate on something or have like inside jokes or things like that Ooh. they're just like no, twins yeah. i mean they're not just twins it's like siblings in general yeah and i agree and i also feel like that sometimes you will probably say the same thing or same mannerisms because that's all we yeah, grew up together so of course we're going to have similar and then another thing that was depicted in the movies is how they have twins compete with one another and how you, I guess some of y'all, I mean, some of y'all can see in YouTube videos or cases out there where, uh, twins basically killed each other. <laughs> mm-hmm, like these true crime more stories. Mm-hmm, more dramatic sense. But no, we didn't compete with each other. I feel like we was always like happy mm-hmm. for the other person. Mm-hmm. If they like get something mm-hmm. or accomplish something, we was happy for each other. Like we supported each other. Each other. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't all competitive like yeah. they show in TV and movies and whatever. Yeah. Like that. I agree with that. And then some of the um, dislikes. Since we, but we have said some of the dislikes, but some more about it is that where people assume that we always together, like we did go to the um, same school, but we had separate classrooms. We don't even have the same job. And we stuff have like separate that. friends. Like mm-hmm. we don't have everything alike, even though people assume that we did. Yeah. And then uh, I remember this one time it was in high school and this girl, she was like, uh, we are at a um, sister. We are sister. I said, yeah, she's not in this class. So I'm, oh, I always see you guys together, and I just like you always. Know, always. <laughs> yeah, because I was just gonna say that. Yeah, that um, even though people say that the response that people could get out, um, you guys could say is that well, it's only when you see us that we are together. In this moment, we're not together. So yeah, they go against what you just said. And a, you're not with us twenty four seven to say to make that general statement that mm-hmm. we always together. Yeah, no, they're just. So irritating people would say mm-hmm. that. Like, I like being twins, though. I do like being twins. Yeah, yeah. We're going to say some, yeah, yeah, say some, yeah, say some good stuff about it. But, yeah, I just, that's just so annoying that they said that. Mm-hmm. And then another thing is how people have, um, have to, how we had to share everything or make sure, yeah, you get them the same thing. Like, that's going back to the idea of us not having our own identity or people not seeing that we two separate people we just look the same to you guys mm-hmm. <laughs> and i know a lot of uh, you twins um that's probably listening or anybody that has siblings and stuff like i know you, you probably had to have the same gifts growing up but people made it seem like you were just giving one person a gift yeah or when it's two of us right or you went like or if we'll get mad if the other person had something different mm-hmm. than the other person yeah when we never expressed that Mm-mm. so i want to know do you guys have that similar dislikes that we um just shared 
And then some of the things that we do like about being twins is that we always going to have somebody there for us. Like, I know some twins that don't get along, but we definitely get along. Mm -hmm. And it's always good to have, like, a friend that's in your corner that you trust. Yeah, support. And if if you, like, you know, fall out with someone else, like, you always have that person there that you could fit to and you guys could, like, relate on stuff. Yeah, like, especially if we deal with, Mm -hmm. like, similar stuff, problems, people, like, we dislike somebody, the other person get it. And I know some of you guys probably could relate to this if you siblings out there. Like, I know you got probably got a, a best friend or a sibling that you grew up with. Maybe you guys around the same age. Mm-hmm. Just think of that if you want to think of twins. Mm-hmm. Like, a sibling that's around the same age as you. And you get along with them. Yeah, you get along with them. And um, another experience. You got any experience that you could think of that we had growing up? Oh, yeah. I did like that. I don't know. I guess... Just kind of like a like in, I would just talk about like a like in dislike with this. Is that like in high school we had different programs like in the high school. Mm-hmm. And one of us went in different programs than the other person. So we was able to, you know, talk about what's going on in that one. So we got more information about like stuff that was going around in high school yeah. and stuff like that. I did like that. Yeah. But I didn't like because I feel like we should just stay be in the same program. Why? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I think that we should have been, because I don't know, I like I liked it some of more, you know, that classes that you took. Or oh, okay. I took, I didn't do your, your homework or yeah. anything like that, but I just felt like we could have had yeah. more or Yeah, had better. a similar experiences and deal with the same drama or, mm-hmm. yeah, it'd be great to have somebody there in your corner and when you went through these problems mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And dealing yeah. with certain people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's basically what it is. But I guess I did like that we get to see you know, share different information about what's going on. Yeah. And we had each had our kind of like own set of people we talked to. Mm-hmm. So that brought that up other person, like to have more friends or more people to talk to, you know, cause they know you, you know? Yeah. I agree with that. And I want to say something about how, yeah, in friendship groups and we not the only kids in the family. So no. we able to have different friendship groups. Like you don't have to always include the other person or, but we didn't really experience that. I know a lot of no. twins probably did. Yeah, like, we didn't experience any of that. Yeah, where they had felt like they had to include the other twin or had to deal with the both. Yeah. No, I don't think I we did with that with that, but I know that's probably depicted in some shows out here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we didn't have anything like that. I'm trying to think of any other experience mm-hmm. in school with us just being twins in general. Um, <laughs> yeah, just more so the thing about being twins is everybody else negative things about twins like how one could be called a prettier one or the ugly one Mm -hmm. and how oh she looked better than you like i feel like that's something that you definitely shouldn't say to twins out here no that's that's so rude that's so rude and a negative thing to say oh she looked better than you or this person had more acne and less acne oh she got more hair than you like yeah i can tell tell the difference by Mm -hmm. pointing out something a flaw or negativity about you i can tell the difference between you two because it is this person got more more of this more of that or less of that 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 was just so yeah irritating going on to say that going on that i want to say that yeah when you basically try to learn the differences first ask the twins what's the difference between you guys then automatically coming up with something negative that you see in one twin just to separate the other twin Mm -hmm. like just ask them what's the yeah what you just said like what's the difference yeah and i don't know that's kind of how we just want to talk like just probably like a short uh video that we have but we just want to say some more of me said our experiences about the twins unless you got even more things you want to talk about i'm trying to think anything else that come to mind about our experience yeah i would say just stop comparing Mm -hmm. see as individual you can ask your questions, but let's try not make it so negative. The mm-hmm. questions you ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did it. Like, people will ask the same questions, too, to every twin. Like, you could meet a different twin set, and you still ask the same question. Mm-hmm. Um, which one of y'all are the mean twin? You know, we kind of talked about this before, but I'm just saying, like, the que- like just more focus on the questions that you ask twins, too. Like, if you already ask this set of twins, don't assume that the other set of twins is the same way or... Mm-hmm. You know, you get know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. That we both the same. Like, oh, because this set of twins said, oh, one of them is meaner. Then, oh, my, this set of twins be mean. One of them must be meaner, too. Like, we all are different. Yeah, I agree mm-hmm. with that. And, and we're not clones. Yeah. I just want to emph- emphasize that about twins. They are not clones. Mm-hmm. That's what most people think when they think of twins is clones. And because we look the same, that's what they assume. Because it's a lot of fraternal twins and probably conjoined twins. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. But they don't look at, like, twins even though they are twins. Mm-hmm. And that's why I feel like we get that main stereotype of us being clones in one person. 
Yeah, so have any of you um, who are twins going through any of this? So let us know your experiences in the comments. And those um, that are not twins, hopefully we shed some lights on the misconceptions about twins. So thanks thank you for listening, listening to Reflect. See you next time. Bye. Bye.